Hey there, how's it going? David in Ark here. In this video, we're going to do something a little different than my usual stuff. I belong to several retro slash old school gaming groups, and in one of those, a conversation came up regarding a French rock band called Trust. Now, Trust was formed in 1977 and has recorded albums off and on ever since, but uh, in fact, their most recent release, it's called Propaganda, was published in 2022. In 1996, however, they put out an album called Europe et Tense, and pardon my butchering of the French language, the last time I had a French class was like ninth grade back in the early 80s. Anyway, so it turns out that certain versions of this CD has a demo of a game called Z. Now, I'd never played the game before, though the artwork was certainly iconic. I mean, I immediately recognized this robotic general dude from the packaging that I can remember seeing on the shelves uh, in game stores. So I thought, we'll give it a shot. So I fired up my PCEM computer emulator and I installed the demo. And I'm just gonna say, for the record, I've been using PCEM for years. Long before Linus at Linus Tech Tips quote discovered it, recently he's got a video. Anyway, I've got a couple of videos about it myself. If you want to check those out, check them out. I digress. All right. Anyway, the the game itself is a real time simulation, which probably explains why I never played it because I'm not a fan of the RTS genre. Um, way back in the day, I think my dad played a game called Tropico, maybe. Anyway, he fell in love with it, loved the entire RTS genre, and he tried to get me to play RTS with him. I just, I don't know, man. All this commanding of troops and micromanaging everything, it just seems tedious to me. Anyhow, in the name of research and to make the video, I trudged onward into the Z demo. And holy smokes. Okay, so the main takeaway here, uh, the main thing you should know <clears throat> is that uh, a demo of a game on a CD released by a French rock band is, well, it's gonna be all in French. I don't know why this came as a surprise to me, but it did, and, and though I had taken French in high school, as I mentioned earlier, my French is pretty rusty, so uh, yeah. But anyhow, creating a new game though, pretty straightforward, top menu option, and I, you know, it, it there you go, anyhow. I have no idea what these little dudes are saying. So I'm just selecting groups of troops and sending them onward to do whatever it is they do. I, I have no idea. Um, the pointer changes different icons as you point at different things. So for example, it turns to a grabbing hand when I move it over a flag. So I'm gonna send troops to the flags and I don't know, I guess it's just a capture the flag kind of game. I did eventually figure out that the red and blue sections on the right hand side are the zones. So as flags are captured, the zones will change color to match the current holder, which I generally was not in the majority by any stretch, but you know, hey. Oh, there's also tanks and jeeps that you can command and you can send them off to do, I don't know, again, whatever it is they do. Ultimately though, my fort was destroyed and the robot general guy popped up on the screen to berate me in a language I barely remember, let alone understand any of it. And that's actually more disappointing and disheartening than losing the actual fort. Nothing like being chewed out by a French speaking robot. Any case, there it is. A cool Easter egg of sorts on a French rock band's CD. Now, I can only assume that this particular game was included because of the revolutionary nature of the songs on the album. I mean, I don't know, maybe not. I did a very cursory search for info about the game's inclusion on the album, but it came up empty. You can find the CD online through various auction sites and other places that you might find CDs for sale, whether you're interested in the demo or the music or both. Frankly, even though I have no idea what they're singing, uh, their music w is well worth the purchase alone. I mean, I don't know, it, it's good rocking, man. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I did, however, find a man uh, manage to find a, a copy of the CD uploaded to archive.org, but you can only download the music from the disc and not the demo. 
Um, oh yeah, by the way, uh, if you get this CD or really any music CD that also has software on it, in order to play the music, you have to make sure that you start at track one since the data is at track zero. And I'm going to tell you, not all media players are going to understand how that works. So some of them are just going to pop up and not want to play the disc at all. Just a heads up. So if you have control over the tracks, make sure that you know the music starts at track one. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, or horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer, Gall, Los Wilco, 7220 Gamer, the Maestro of Madness, it has to be done, and Cherry Boss for supporting the channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm David Inark. Have a great day.